My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Greenlee from the House of Puffin Damali. This is 185 pounds for 75 mil and 230 for 125 mil. Greenlee has housed in a something green bottle and modeled after its companion, reflected of pure energy and the fresh breath of spring. This factory signature draws upon nature to create a joyful whirlwind of fruit, citrus, bark and sap goodness me, which flows into a crisp, tangy green apple surprise. A daring juxtaposition of nature's finest materials in a rich masculine fragrance that is designed to stand the test of time. You need an English degree to read this, goodness me. The factory notes are Sicilian bergamot, mandarin green apple, cashmere woods, cedarwood, pettigrain, violet, oak moss, musk, amberwood, cord. Time to wear during spring and summer for a walk into the woods. Okay. Do we have our bowls of green leaf by Puffin de Mali? Are we engaged with our high self? Let's get testing. Excited to try this. My only criticism so far, when I was looking at the bottles today, I had to look on the... I know you all know what colour the bottles are and what's inside the fragrance for the bottle and this, that, the other. I don't. Sometimes it's the first time I've ever seen it is when I'm standing in front of you and I go look at the bottle. And especially when you have the fragrances, you kind of just pick it up and think, oh God, what do I need to review? And people have asked, how do I pick stuff to review? It really is like, what haven't I done before? What are people wanting me to review? kind of what do we need to review it's a little bit of a discussion beforehand and also when I film these I film these at eight in a row because I'm so short of time we try and film the eight reviews in a month in one go which is what we're doing today and sometimes I'm like oh my god what have I done what haven't I done and the text messages are have we done this before when did we do it do we want to do it again because we have we're trying to improve all the time not only as a businessman you're trying to improve my, my fragrances, but also in the way that we film it, the camera, and we're changing the set in the future as well. So you'll be seeing that. We're trying to constantly change and improve. So sometimes when I'm looking at this, I'm like, what the hell is this? And I could not see that clearly, the green leaf. That's my only criticism so far. It's like I'd loved it on the bottle so I could see clearly. Anyway, let's look at the atomizer. Nice. I like the weight of the bottles. They feel really weighty. I love the cap. The cap's weighty as well. There's another fresh one I will review. But in the future, when we change sets, you'll see all the fragrances. And you've got to think, how the hell am I going to review this? I don't very much do top tens or that. I try and do something new each time. What sets me apart is I try to do one fragrance review at a time. And then occasionally a top 10 or what I'd recommend or something but that's hard. We don't do them at a time as well. Anyway, this is very nice. The citrus is gorgeous. Beautiful sort of wood-based, clean. This range always has that clean freshness to it. This to me smells heavily of pretty much what it's saying of like woody, citrus, simplistic. But this range always has that sort of element of sweetness to it. I've not really smelled anything from this range that sort of smells bitter. Generally, they sort of smell fresh, clean, sweet. You can sort of transfer that into any of their fragrances and depending on what it is or depending on how much sweetness there is. Things like the Delina, Delina exclusive and insanely sweet. The man's fragrances I've tried have been sweet and sort of a bit more naturally. And this has a sweet, clean, Call to it, beautiful cacophony of citruses, beautiful wood raw materials. The ice was super and clean white musks in it, giving that sort of like cleanness, freshness, and life force to it. I've not spoken about that for a while, but to me, citrus based fragrances should be more lively, should be more fresh and clean, but definitely have a sparkle and effervescence to it. And that can be done with acetates or that one can be, or they can be done with citruses and a combination of both within the construction. Icy Super, Hedion, clean metallic musk, clean white musk, uh, citruses, wood raw materials, acetates to give sort of lift, sparkle, effervescence. Acetates are very interesting raw material and there's two which I always think go together, but not always. It's just completely contradictory. I label them as G acetate and N acetate. I think it's drenal acetate and neural acetate. And those two, one smells of lavender, the other one sort of smells more sort of geranium-y sparkle, and they can be used to give sparkle effervescence, especially with, um, oh gosh, I can't pronounce this, 
terpenoidal acetate. Sometimes this is the first time I've ever said it. Dyslexic brain style. Those together can give sparkle, effervescence, liveliness to a formulation. Aldehyde C12, well, the laurel goes somewhere. That's most clean, soapy, and palatable. And the octanoidal acetate as well. Those are really high concentrations, are just horrible. And those lower give a flavor within the formula. And that's the skill of the perfumer, which is knowing these raw materials and knowing the percentages to work out. So it, it just sort of smells seamlessly blended, nothing really overtaking it. And that's what's happening here. Perfect sort of synergy of aroma chemicals, sparkling sort of naturals, and sort of the uh, aldehylic qualities as to giving a dry cleanness popping through the formula. On to my final thoughts. I know this, I think it's great. I think this range is uh, super professional. I'm enjoying the cleanness. I'm enjoying the effervescence of the citrus, the um, aroma chemicals giving a background note and sort of the acetate sort of working, flickering through the formula. Some people are incredibly sensitive to aldehydes. This has just been beautifully blended. I think this house is great. I think uh, whoever the perfumer or perfumers within this, or perfumers assistants, I think they're doing a superb job. I think it smells uh, incredibly clean, citrus, slightly sort of like fabric conditioner, which I think is incredibly important for some fragrances. But it's not super radiant. I mean, citruses are not the best on my skin. These sort of fragrances on my skin sort of just fly off and left with nothing. But I got to judge it for the price it is and for 180, whatever it is up, it needs to be radiant on my skin to give it really high marks. It's sort of drying down. But I think on people who don't have skin like mine, aren't tattooed, I think this would be really nice, great. Very, very inoffensive, um, easy to wear. I think this is a signature fragrance. I think it's absolutely more summer. Or if you just love citruses and the freshness comes with citrus, citrus, I think this is a signature scent. I think this is just very inoffensive. It just smells fresh and clean and natural. So I'm gonna mark this an eight out of 10. I think it's great perfumery, I think it's awesome but it's not radiant on me. And the really high marks are when there's a twist in it, when it's sort of interesting, when there's something about it. And to me, this just smells like a really excellently produced citrus, if that makes sense. But it's not the higher echelons of making me creative, making me want to go and do something, you know, excited about it, you know, that it's twisted in some way, that it's kind of like doing something that interests me. And so this, I think, is just a really great citrus. Nothing wrong on it at all, but I think it's, it's super fantastical, but kind of not. And a twist in some way with some, something, you know, that, that kind of makes sense to you, but it is a really great scent. I think it's worth the money. I think it's, uh, I love the packaging, love everything about it, but, you know, I can thoroughly recommend it. But the nine and 10 are reserved for kind of when it's just like, oh my God, that's amazing. Or it's lower priced and acting like a more expensive fragrance. So I'd love that review, thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.